Hello guys, Robert Hall here. In my last videos, I kind of disappeared without saying goodbye, so sorry about that. Now, um, if you go to jimmyfans.com, this page is going to load, and this should not happen because we have already created a, a home page. If I click on a home page, you see, these are our first design. So we want to make sure when we only type jimmyfans.com and nothing else, it should, it should load this page here. You see, if I do this, jumia.com, it doesn't load there. So, to sort this issue out, you'll, you're going to have to go to customize, click customize, and then you're going to look for home page settings right here, home page settings. And then your home page uh, should display a static page, not the latest post. You want to select on a static page. Then you're gonna look for home page and add, you wanna make sure the post page is okay. Don't worry about the post page because we're not creating a blog or anything, we're just create, designing a website from scratch. Not really scratch, but from what we're designing. Okay, so you wanna hit on publish. Now it's okay. Now if you go to Jumia jimmyfans.com they should load this web page right here all right so there we go so this should be our home page okay when you just go to jimmyfans.com all right and uh, jimmyfans.com is uh, for, i'm just using it uh, you know just to shoot these tutorials but Probably in the future is going to be an appropriate uh, content that uh, goes well with the domain name. Okay, right now I'm just using it as a, as an example to build something. Okay, so jimmyfriends.com loads this what we're designing. So we'll continue downwards here, and creating our website. So to do that, we, I'm going to click on Edit with Elementor. Then it's going to open the editor, the drag and drop editor. Again, Elementor is the best drag and drop website builder out there. Okay, an alternative to that is if you're a programmer, then you're gonna have to code everything and it's gonna take a lot of time. And uh, yeah, if really time really is money, so you, you're gonna have to do things smart and, and faster way. All right, so we're gonna continue. So we added a space here. If you click there, if you click somewhere in the middle, it's gonna load the element that we loaded it with. In this case, it was the spacer. Okay, so we're gonna continue with our services. We're gonna add some blocks right here at the bottom. All right. So to do that, we're gonna click a, a plus icon right here. Then we're gonna add three columns three columns okay and here they are so the first column we want to add a, a block okay we're gonna name this as services or something close to that so um you're gonna look for uh, you see uh, you're gonna look for an element that's gonna help you write uh, a block let me show you if you click on flip box and drag it right here, it's gonna give you an opportunity to write. Uh, you see, for example, what I mean. So this is a block. You can say that this is the heading. Uh, we can create a content here. We can write a content and type something like uh, web design, web design, and. But a, a tiny description here, like get the best web design in the shortest in the shortest time possible. All right. So if I hover here, then there's another text. So we could write something like you know this is the front part you see the front that's the front now we want to type the back the back is when i hover my 
my mouse, then it kind of turns. So we need to write the back as well. So you just come in, click on the back, and type a text as well. We could say something. Uh, this is the back. This is the back. And uh, it's it's about you get the point. You can write whatever you like. I would say this is the back. Um, get the best. Get the best. Get the best design. And you could say. Click here to learn more. So if they click, you're gonna put a link. Here's a link. I would say something like, you know, I'll just put uh, default, you know, rudderhost.com, rudderhost.com, forward slash. Uh, let me just put the home page. Click here to learn more. So, yeah, if they click here, it will take them to Rodas.com. All right. So, you can uh, play around with all these features if you like. So, the settings you can decide on, you know, the height, the border radius. Actually, the border radius is you see this corner here. If you want to make them not really very sharp, you can do this. For example, you can add some border radius you see what's happening you see the corners here they are well shaped and looking nicely you can put an effect to the flip you can decide to you know push Let's see for example all right you can play around with all these features then you can check the direction you can say you want it from the right and this what happens you see all right, now that you know how to put a block, I'm just gonna duplicate all these three times so that they they appear somewhere here, okay? All right, so I'm just gonna um, hover my mouse by here and duplicate it. I'm gonna say duplicate. All right, this, to, to duplicate uh, these elements, you're gonna move your mouse over here, right click, all right, and then click duplicate. You right click here. Yeah, let me show you. You see, then duplicate. And I'm just gonna cross these ones. I don't need those ones. Right click, and then delete. Then I'll do the same for this one here. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is create a contact form. We're gonna add a contact form right here. So to do that, first let's just update this. I'm gonna click on update. To make sure we've saved our work we don't want to lose our hard work okay so once it's up to once this button turns to gray you can come to the hamburger menu here then click to exit to dashboard All right all right i'm just making sure i'm recording and not talking to myself so once you log in, once you log back to the to the back end of the website, we're gonna click click on this icon right here. All right. So what we're going to do is create a contact form. You're gonna look for contact form. 
which is right here then you're gonna click on contact forms then you're gonna we're gonna use the default one which we have it ready you can just come to click edit right then here you see this is how our form is going to look like let me show you if we all you need to do to add your form to the front end of the website is just copy this short code right here see uh, triple click on it and then to highlight everything then copy okay then Jumia hold hold down control on your keyboard and click on visit site this way you're gonna open in a new tab right now we are going to edit with Elementor then we're gonna add a short code right below this our services you see this is how our website looks like right now so we're gonna click on edit first you're gonna have to click on edit right edit you have you just have to click on edit with elementor Okay, click edit with Elementor. All right, once there, you just have to scroll down here. Or actually find an element. Now you can say um, shortcut just under the search widget, search for shortcut. Right, then here it is. Click and drag it right here. And drop it right there. Then it's gonna offer you it's gonna tell you to write the short code now this is the short code that we've just copied so we need to paste it right here Control v to paste and then click on apply all right and now here is our form now here is our form now we need to configure it and make sure when somebody put their names their email the subject and their message and when they hit submit it's gonna we're gonna receive the email okay so that's what we need to make sure so you want to click on update all right once once the button turns to gray you can just go back to this other tab right here and under mail now if you know HTML or hypertext markup language you can design this to your liking you can add some styling and stuff but later on I'm going to show you how to style your forms you see your form looks plain so I'm going to show you how to style it and make it look beautiful now uh, we need to configure email so you want to click on the mail tab then right here is where you're gonna type your uh, you're gonna put all the right information to make sure that when they send the the email through the form you're gonna receive the mail or I guess to configure your mail if you're in this tab mail if you're gonna configure <coughs> all the settings to make sure you receive emails from your website uh, you're gonna have to create this email if uh, you have not already created an email let me show you how to create an email. You need to create this info at juniorfans.com. <clears throat> so if you go to, we're just gonna go to our control panel. So if you don't know how to log into the control panel, you can just watch our previous videos. We've shown you how to do that. Now what you wanna do, uh, since we we want to make sure this email is up and active, we just need to go to our control panel. Then once on control panel, you can just type for email. Just type for email, and here it is. You can see all the email accounts. And uh, good thing we already have uh, that email set up. So what we need to do 
you see here are the emails that we have if you want to add another email you can just click on create all right uh you cannot create because of the package that we you know we bought with this uh, service so okay so if you want to check uh, the email if you actually if you want to uh, all the emails that come to info at gmail.com we want them to be forwarded to our gmail suppose you want you like using your gmail and you want you just want to check all your emails in one place so you can just click on manage then we are going to forward actually you just go back to the home the control panel home page and i want you to search for forwarders and then this is going to help us forward for all our emails to gmail just type forward uh, forwarders actually yeah and here it is you can just click on forwarders okay then once there we are going to forward all the emails that come to info at gmail.com this could be your business info at whatever business.com so you want to select you want to click on uh, the domain that you want to work on in, the, in our case it's gmailfinds.com click on add forwarder right then we are going to forward all our emails to gmailfinds at gmail.com so after you click add folder right so the email that we're going to forward is, is going to be info we want all the emails that come to info at gmail.com to be forwarded to our gmail which is gmailfinds at gmail.com okay once you've done that you just click on add folder and now you'll get this successful message telling you all emails sent to info at gmailfinds.com will now be copied to gmailfinds at gmail.com so we can go back here now that we've made okay let's just go back to our now that we've made sure that uh, we have this email and we can forward all our emails to gmail or if you don't want to forward the emails to gmail you can always check your email from the web uh, from if we go to control panel you can always check your emails by coming to your control panel all right control panel then emails look for email accounts here email accounts right so email accounts then or right, here are all the emails you can just click on check email okay so if you if i click on check email i always prefer using round cube so yeah i recommend that you use round cube but if you want to change uh, if, if you're not uh, okay i'll explain later what that means so here's our email info at gmailfinds.com so this is where all our emails are gonna appear from the website or any other source okay so if we send an email through the form through this form right here this form right here it's going to appear here and the same email should be forwarded to our gmail okay now let's make sure that happens all right so <clears throat> so we've created a folder right so just make sure you've added this code to your website to your front end through using short code right here's the short code and also before you continue i want to add another another column here on a, okay first let's just finish with the contact form first let's try and send an email and see if it, if it works so we are just going to type i'm gonna use my name Robert Rob. 
Okay. My email address is robotrob254 at gmail.com. My subject is hello from website form. Hello from the website form. Okay. And the message is hello. We're just trying to see if this email goes through. Okay. I heard uh, I had already you know practiced before shooting this video so my previous action was successful so we just could let's just refresh this page so that, so that this disappears okay all right so I'm gonna retype my name Robert Robe. then my email address is Robert Robe 254 at gmail.com the subject is going to be hello from the website form and the message is hello okay I'm gonna click on send message and if you scroll downwards you'll see this the, the, the success message thank you the message it has been sent now we need to check our email to see if we've received that email if I refresh this page is our new email hello from the website form and the message is hello now we need to check if it has been forwarded to our gmail so we're gonna refresh here as well all right sometimes uh, it, it usually takes uh, somewhat close to 15 seconds before you can receive it to your gmail okay we click on all emails sometimes you know sometimes uh, Google doesn't know you know before your website becomes trustworthy it's gonna go to the spam folder so you wanna check your spam folder uh, you can open the message and you can teach Google you can tell Google that this is a trusted website here so you can report not spam so that way when you send a when you receive another email it's gonna go directly to the inbox so we're gonna do just that so you see this is the email hello from the website form and the message is hello so we're gonna send another message to see just to make sure it appears on the main on the primary inbox of the of gmail so we're gonna resend an email we're gonna refresh the page I'm gonna retype my name, which is Robert Rob. I'm gonna write my email, robertrob254gmail.com. And the subject is second test. Hey there. Okay, and then I'm gonna hit on send. See? Thank you for your message, it has been sent. Again, we need to check our email. Refresh. Here's our second test that has arrived to info at gmailfriends.com. Let's see if it has been forwarded to the primary of Gmail. If I refresh, and here it is. Now it's on the primary uh, tab of Gmail. Okay. So that's how you send, that's how you configure your webmail, your contact form. Uh, to your website now I'm gonna add another column here showing you how to add a map to your local business okay I'm gonna add a map beside this contact form so I'm just gonna hit on duplicate right click on this and then click duplicate right once it has duplicated itself you can delete this content right here just come this means content uh, whatever your whatever element you're dealing with so if I right click on that and click delete it's gonna be clean then I'm gonna have to drive another element here and that element will be the Google map so if I click on these dots here and type Google map or actually just type map or whatever here it is Google maps I can just drag it right here and we just need to type our location did i drag it right just hold on a second 
Okay, I'm going to redo it just to make sure I drop it at the right place. All right, just wait, and here it is. Now we've added a map here. Now we need to write our location. So you can just type your location here. I'm going to say Nairobi. All right, but if you want to be more specific, you can always type your specific location. <clears throat> so I'm going to type a location for business, which is Kilalesha. I'm going to type Kilalesha. Mm, let's see if the puts, uh, let's see if we can find that out. So, yeah, this should work. But you get the point. You just make sure you want to type the correct uh, location of which it's successful. And you want to click, click on update. So it's really that simple. If you want to zoom in, for example, if I do 10 or 14, it's going to zoom. Wait, wait. Just see the changes. You see, I've added the zoom level, and now we've zoomed in. So here's our location. And if you want to do a height, you know, this height here, you can add a height. Click and drag. All right, see what changes. All right. Okay, so. Yeah, if you want to toggle the height, you can see the, what happens. Okay, I'm playing around with the height. <clears throat> so uh, right now it's uh, 641. We're going to leave it at that. Well, actually, we just want to make sure it's the same height as this. So we are going to reduce the height until, yeah, somewhere there. Uh, actually, that's too short. Somewhere there. It looks better there. And then you want to click on update. Okay. Now, let's just view it, preview it. Click on preview. And this is going to make the changes. You can see it's loading. Just wait for it to load. <coughs> And is our website. So if you scroll, our map should appear here. And here it is. You can see the last one and the surrounding. All right, guys. So uh, this video really was about uh, the basics of building a website. So you've understood the, all the principles. You've learned how to add an animation. You, you've learned how to add a contact form. You've learned how to add a map. And really, this is these are the most uh, you know uh, tricky parts. But once you understand these basic principles, you're gonna be able to build basically any type, any dynamic type of website. But really, uh, if you wanna learn in depth about uh, you know web design and creating you know really very powerful websites make sure you uh, subscribe to our channel there whereby you'll get all the information that you need to know when it comes to building websites okay so that's it for this video so if you have any questions you can leave them in the comment sections below and i'll see you in the next one cheers bye